What's up guys? It's our Sly 420 here. Just wanted to give an update for the garden. <clears throat> We're at day, I think 29 of flower. And everything's looking pretty good. I, um, I've been having, you know, fungus gnats bothering me, so I picked up some, uh, mosquito bits. the uh, bacillus thuringinus or whatever it's called so I sprinkled that into my pots the other day I let them dry out first <clears throat> you know as much as I could let them dry out and then I uh, sprinkled the tops of the soil with it and then I watered or I, I, I watered and I fed actually so hopefully that doesn't affect the mosquito bits, but whatever. If this stuff doesn't work, I'm probably going to pick up uh, Natural, which is a product that comes highly recommended by one of my buddies. So hopefully this works. I'm just tired of dealing with them. So, I mean, let's see here. You can probably see the bits down in the soil. So I decided I'm going to leave these little tiny bud sites down at the bottom, just kind of as an experiment. And I got some cocoa on top of them, I need to clean those off. But I mean, yeah, they're flowering. Dang, you can totally see that fungus and that flopping around. So hopefully... This bacteria will kill all the uh, all the larvae and stuff, and then hopefully the yellow sticky traps will catch any adults. Dang! Looks like I saw a couple of them just now. Everything's looking real healthy, though. Honestly, I had a I had a little scare. I thought they were root aphids, and um, I mean, hopefully they're not root aphids, but I don't think they are. Just by all the uh, stuff I looked up online, you know, it looks like um, root aphids have two sets of wings versus fungus gnats only have one set of wings, and then the uh, fungus gnats have like more of an hourglass shape to their body whereas the root aphids have kind of just like one solid shape and then also root aphids will have two little tiny tips sticking off their tail like one on each side of their tail basically and uh, the fungus gnat doesn't have those two little tiny they look like almost like little antennas but they're very short so that's um, that's the difference, I guess, between fungus gnats and root aphids. Also, with the root aphids, you're going to have some major deficiencies on your plant. I think people mistake it for magnesium deficiencies. And I have, like, zero deficiencies right now, so I should be good. But anyways, uh, things are coming along quite nice. The blueberry is starting to form some nice looking colas, so I'm really stoked for that. And the Girl Scout cookies is doing its thing. There's so many bud sites, it's ridiculous. Frost is coming in pretty nicely.
You can see some of that wind burn. <clears throat> Alright, let's zoom in on this blueberry. So yeah, everything's looking good. So I've actually got four blueberries right over there. And then to the left I've got five Girl Scout cookies. So I did kind of crowd them in. I arranged them differently than usual. Um, that's why I didn't use tomato cages. But on my next grow, I'm definitely going to do four per light with cages. And then I'm just going to, you know, top a lot. Get lots of tops. Veg it out nicely. Get it nice and bushy with a bunch of tops. And see how good I do on my next one as well. I mean, definitely. This is going to be much better than my last one. I know that much for sure. So I'm pretty stoked for this. Um, one thing I did do is, you probably can't see it. Yeah, you can't see it. Let me see if I can bring my camera in there. So I was watching one of John uh, Johnny B or John Berfello or whatever his name is. Watching one of his videos and he had one of these hooked up. He called it like a sun wench. And I don't know, like, I'm assuming that's a pro grip. Um, but it had snapped and he had a chain hooked up. So luckily the chain, you know, caught the light. But I was like, after I watched that video, I just I was at work while I was watching it too, so I was like, oh my god. I just was thinking I'm gonna go home and there's gonna be a light just crushing my plants. So um, what I did was I hooked up a second sun grip or pro grip and I added that um, that clip right there. It's like a heavy duty clip. Because before I just had it connected to the sun or the pro grips with some heavy duty zip ties. And um, yeah, I didn't I didn't trust that. So so I got two pro grips holding each light up now. One's kind of a backup. I've got them set up to where there's tension on both of them. That way, I'm I'm hoping that you know both of them have a less have less of a load to deal with. I was hoping to zoom in on that so you guys can see what I got going on there, but that's honestly like the grossest thing I could show someone, so I'll just skip that. So yeah, back to the plants. It has been super hot lately. I think
think my air conditioning has been running all day just for the whole house and it's still like 80 degrees in my house it was like 108 today so right now I'm at 81 degrees and 83 degrees so yeah the canopy is like 83 degrees right now I'm going to check the uh, surface temp of the leaves. So it looks like the surface temp is 77 degrees right now. And you can't see that, sorry. So one thing I don't like about this camera is you got to be like three feet away from whatever you're shooting to be able to zoom in on it. So that is a big con for me for this camera. Other than that, it's pretty good. And the other con is it doesn't have like macro capabilities built in. I had like a, a old Nikon camera. It wasn't even HD, it was just a Nikon cool pics or something. And I could like hold the camera right against one of my colas, take a macro shot, and it'd be like microscopic status, you know, just like super zoomed in shots of trichomes. So I mean, I don't understand why this camera can't do that, I mean, it kind of sucks. Other than that though, those are the two cons, you gotta be three feet away and you can't do macros, at least not the kind that I want to do. But yeah, it's looking good. Day 29. Just did some uh, fungus gnat treatments the other night, last night actually. So hopefully within a week or two they'll be gone. If not, I'm gonna bust out something else like like natural. So yeah. Oh wait, before I forget. Gotta look cool, you know, for the camera and all that. So yeah guys. I'm gonna end it right there. I will catch you guys on the next update. Peace.